A Perth MP is at the centre of a fight over disabled access after moving into new offices at the top of a flight of stairs. Member for Hillary's Peter Katsambanis has a waterfront view, but many constituents can't get to it. This is the only way up to the new office of Peter Capsenbarnas. It may be waterside with a view, but it's impossible to reach if you're in a wheelchair or elderly and frail. We're locked out, literally. There's flights of stairs, there's um, doorsteps, and we're not able to actually access people to talk about the issues that matter to us. Mother of six, Samantha Connor, has lodged a complaint to the Human Rights Commission. The Hillary's office is one of at least 13 in Perth. She says discriminate because they don't have access for the disabled. You're locked out, um, let alone being able to work there or, you know, be part of civic life in the same way other people are. It's actually really distressing on an emotional level. Mr Katzenbarnas asked to be moved out of his old digs and this office was approved by the Premier, something he says he now regrets. Also concerned is the Disabilities Minister Stephen Dawson. Well, I think it's very disappointing. I'll be writing to the Premier about the issue. The Hillary's MP says his new office saves the government money. The Premier says that Labor's overwhelming election win led to an unprecedented level of office swaps. He said that relocations, renovations and improvements are all still very much in the works. Greens MP Alison Zamon is in a temporary West Perth office. One volunteer staffer was forced out because it has no disability access. This government should be giving an undertaking that they will not be opening any more electorate offices, they will not be fitting out any future electoral offices unless they can also guarantee that it has full disability access. The government says it's committed to phasing out offices without wheelchair access. I would hope that the state government leads by example. Michael Genovese, Nine News.